Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to graph a parabola by using the technique of finding the vertex of the parabola. Now the vertex of the parabola is the very lowest point on the parabola when the parabola opens upward or the very highest point on the parabola when the parabola opens downward. So that will have an x and a y value so we call that x sub v, y sub v. So those are the x and y coordinates of the vertex and those are the ones we're going to try and find. Now to find the x the x-coordinate of the vertex, x of v, that is equal to minus b divided by 2a. Now remember that the general form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we take the b, the coefficient of the x term, and divide it by twice the coefficient of the x squared term, and we put a negative sign in front of it, and that gives us the x-coordinate of the vertex. All right, so x of v is equal to minus b, that would be minus 4 divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to minus 4 divided by 2. Whoop, that's a, not a very good looking 2. There we go. And so that's equal to minus 2. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is a minus 2, x sub v. So how do you find the y-coordinate of the vertex? Well, the y-coordinate can be found, y sub v is simply equal to the equation with x replaced by x of v. So this would be x of v squared plus 4 times x of v plus 3. All we do is plug that value back in the original equation and we get the corresponding y coordinate. So in this case, y sub v is equal to, that would be minus 2 quantity squared plus 4 times minus 2 plus 3. So we get y sub v is equal to 4 minus 8 plus 3 or y sub v is equal to minus 1, which means that the point, the lowest or the highest point of the parabola, in our case, is going to be the value of minus 2 for the x-coordinate and minus 1 for the y-coordinate. So when we start graphing the parabola, it's going to look something like this. Here's the y-axis, the x-axis, the point minus 2, minus 1. So 1, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 1. So this is minus 2 on the x-axis, minus 1 on the y-axis where the two come together. That's where the vertex is of the parabola. Now, I don't know yet if the parabola opens upward or if the parabola opens downward. I just know that that's either the highest or the lowest point. Now, if I look at the coefficient in front of the x-squared term, and if that is equal to a positive number, then we know that the parabola opens upward. So now we know the parabola has to open like this, which means that it's going to cross the x-axis and it's going to cross the y-axis. Now the, where, it fi where it crosses the y-axis is really the easiest point to find. So we're going to find the y-intercept. I'm going to set x equal to 0. Remember, when x equals 0, that's where it crosses the y-axis. So I then evaluate y equals 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3 or y equals 3, which means the parabola will cross the y-axis when y equals 3 and when, of course, x equals 0. So 1, 2, 3, right there. So now I have a pretty good idea what my parabola is going to look like. And it looks like this and like that on the other side. And that's how we grab the parabola using the vertex to find one of the important points on the parabola. That's how we do that.